Ottawa is on fire this weekend for the 41st Juno Awards. Welcome and welcome to Kiss92.5.com. We are on the red carpet and we're the only radio station to bring you full extensive coverage. We're talking to everyone like down with Webster, William Shatner, and Headley. Okay, but first, high atop the Weston Hotel inside the RW & Co. gift lounge, we sit down with Carly Rae Jepsen. Let's check that out. Junos! Maybe, how are you? <laughs> Do you get that? I tried to be funny because you say, call me maybe. So I'm thinking that like, you're telling us to call you maybe. Yeah. So I, maybe, how are you? I picked up what you were putting down. <laughs> it was very funny. I feel like I have to explain my jokes now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for those that are just tuning in, let me try it again. Carly Rae Jepsen, how are you? I'm doing very well. You know, it's just shocking how you've skyrocketed to like stardom with so recently. I've known you for a couple of years and I'm so proud of how fast everything's just gone. Boop! Thank you know? You. It's so has it even hit you yet? Probably not all the way. No, I think uh, I think this is something I've always dreamed about, and the fact that it's happening, I wouldn't have gone this far. It, it went further than I would have took it in my wildest dreams. Yeah. So it's uh, it's hard to take in. Was it the right time to sign on with Bieber? Like, how'd that all come to be? Like, did they contact you, and you were like, you know what, I I need this now. Let's do it. Actually, I think about that a lot. I feel like the timing of this couldn't be better. Uh, being 26 and feeling like I'm actually ready to handle uh, mm -hmm. my, my life, kind of being on a roller coaster the way that it is. I feel like if it was any earlier, I, I might be terrified and, and just like lock myself in the closet. <laughs> but uh, this experience so far has just been nothing but amazing. And the timing was right. He came home, he heard the song on the radio at Christmas, and uh, uh, him and Scooter Braun approached my label, the 64 Records, and yeah. Jonathan Zemkin, and since then we've just kind of joined forces. So, so I'm going to warn you now, because okay. he's doing this punk show now, so just watch your I back. Know. Watch your back. He's going to punk you. It's gonna well, happen. I just have to say this right here now, that if he punks me, he will live to regret it. Because <laughs> I will punk him back. Well, it depends on what he does. Maybe it's fun, right? Like water balloons or something. Doesn't something matter. Like Doesn't matter. <laughs> I will still get him back. Now, I have to tell you a story. Are you ready for a story? I have to tell you a story. I love stories. So you remember when you were in with us at Ro the Roz and Mocha show, Kiss 92.5. You okay. remember yes. that, right? Yes. So, first of all, we're mad at you because you told everybody about the fact you're signing with Bieber like 10 minutes after you left us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, there was a uh, strict rules. I always find that I'm never allowed to tell any of the secrets, and then somebody else always spills them before I get the opportunity. But uh, if Fair I had enough. my way, I would say everything all at once. <laughs> now, while you were there, Roz was sitting in his chair. What you don't know is that he doesn't remember any of the performance because while you were there, he suddenly had kidney stones and was going through a massive kidney attack. Oh, no. And, and he remembers nothing of you being there. Oh, Because, gosh. like, the next day, he's, like, in the hospital. Like, actually, later that day, he was in the hospital. He must have faked it these, well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was just holding back the pain. The minute you left, he was, like, uh, holding up the wall with his back. Like, oh, yeah. that's the thing. That's so, that's so unfortunate. He's since passed two stones. So we'd love to have oh. you back so that he can maybe remember your performance. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was that was quite a story. Yeah, you see? Yes. A lot of information. <laughs> now what's next for you? Are you I know that you're doing tours, you what are you doing? Uh, yes, right now we're doing a bit of a whirlwind uh, radio tour, Okay. Uh, which is a little bit different than anything I've done before, like up to up to three flights in one day, and yeah. eight stations in different cities, and we're going to the UK next, oh, okay. and France, and Australia, New Zealand. See how great is that? Like, it's so it's awesome It's so great. Yeah. It's like combining my two favorite things, music and travel. Now, uh, like obviously Selena Gomez is a really cool chick. Are you, are you worried at all that like, she's not the jealous type? She's not going to worry that you're stealing Bieber away? <laughs> I don't think she has anything to worry about. <laughs> Uh, have you seen Selena Gomez? <laughs> um, and have you I, seen you? Oh. I'm gay. I can say that. Uh, you're very <laughs> sweet. I think Justin's a, a little young for my taste, and I, I'm sure that I wouldn't be his type. But we're good friends, and we're nice. definitely fellow musicians, and and working towards that. Because yeah. I, I I think that I have a sense of humor. Raz and Mocha don't think so, but I'm trying that out this was joke. Funny right well, there. I, I like trying. I like that. <laughs> so I'm trying this joke on everybody. I want to see. So Carly Rae Jepsen. Okay. Do you find it funny that the guy with the Junos is at the Junos? Um, I, I don't follow, but I really want to. Because I have because I'm Jewish and I have a oh Juno. Oh my goodness, that's no. so bad. Should I not tell anyone so, else no, that joke? Just end that right here. <laughs> I'm so fast. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs>
By the way, I am such a huge fan of yours, and I love that we get the chance to talk to you oh, once in a while. And pleasant. hopefully you'll come back and give Roz something he can remember. Other than a kidney, kidney stone. stone, yeah. Two kidney stones. Two, my goodness. <laughs> there are times of charm. Awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> we wish you so much success. We, we're so proud of to, to see you grow as big as you have, and we're, you're just going to keep going. Thank you. I mean, you have an authorized Twitter account. That's a sure sign of success. <laughs> is it? Yes, well, it is. Then we're set. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank as so always. Much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. That was a lot of fun again. Classified. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I am well. It's so good to see you here in Ottawa for the Junos. Hey, it's good to be here. Do you want me to look at the camera or you? You look at me. Okay. Why would you look like anywhere else? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> kind of looking at me, though. <laughs> So let me ask you this. Winning a Juno, if you won one, where would you put your Juno at home? Where does the Juno at home go classified? The Juno would go on my, uh, in, in my studio. I'm not one of those guys that, you know, ah, I won an award, it's great, let me use it as my doorstop. Uh, you know, I'll put, I got my shelf where I got like my couple Much Music Awards, a couple East Coast Music Awards, so I'd love to have a Juno up there. So in the studio where I make my music, use it as a little bit of inspiration to kind of, you know, show, show what we've done so far. Let me ask you this, what came first, you or the newspaper section? Me. Way before, man. I'm 109 years old. Classified section was vetted in 1899, uh, and I beat it. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much, and we'll see you again uh, through the room again. Oh, sounds good, man. Always good to talk to you. You too. There we go. Simple plan, guys. How are you? Amazing. How are you? I am well. Nice. I am well. How does it feel? Because it's not just a Juno Award. It's a Juno Award for some incredible hard work and charity work. How does it feel? It, really, not, it, it feels is. amazing. I mean, it's really rewarding. It's it's gratifying. You know, like all the the hard work that we put in, and that all the the, the committee puts in, like all their their time. Nobody's getting paid. You know, like it's all like volunteered work. It's, uh, it's nice to be recognized. Yeah, it's nice to be recognized. Exactly. You know, I mean, the thing is that it is true. All of our all of our team at the foundation is so many people that work so hard, so many hours, and nobody gets paid, and, and they don't really get a lot of spotlight. So for for us to get this for the foundation is really something that we, it, it makes it, I mean, it's, what Look, we do is worth it anyways. Doing charity like you guys did, it's not a simple plan. No, it's, ah, it's really complicated. Ah, it really is complicated. It's a lot of work. The charity. It's did. a lot of time. No, but it really is. It's, 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 so, it's so much work. And uh, to be recognized is just amazing. Now, I'm actually quite disappointed because at the MMVAs, you guys were dressed in really hot little shorts. And I still have that photo at home. Look at it often. And I was like, okay, maybe the guys would do something fun. You're all dressed up all serious. Like, no, wow. I'm not, the, I'm, I know, you're wearing yeah. two different shoes. Yeah, I, that, that was a, that was a fluke. <laughs> I was trying which one was my favorite one, and uh, I, and I walked out because because uh, we were in a hurry. And what's your excuse? You know, we're we're uh, we're versatile. You know what I'm saying? We, we're kind of like mini wheats. You know, one one side's very sugary and sweet and funny. Uh, the other side is very serious. That's yeah. So cute. Oh yeah, both there those go. sides. There we go. Now I also want to find out from you with this Juno Award that you won, guys of Simple Plan. Where does the Juno Award go at home? Where do you put your, your Juno? Mine goes to my parents' house. All my parents have all of my stuff. They like they will not let me have my plaques. They will not let me have any of my my awards. They keep them all, so I, I, I leave them to them. That's okay because Lady Gaga's are all at her parents' place. Really? Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. know that. And yeah. when she when she's at home, she sleeps at her parents on a. Uh, you saw the Oprah up, thing too. Blown up mattress, and she inspired me. Uh, you know what? Uh, I actually just heard that this thing's worth seven thousand dollars, so mine's going sure. straight on eBay. So uh, <laughs> can I bid first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you on eBay. <laughs> Our head cat guy. How are you? <laughs> William Shatner, how are you? Oh, so well, how are you? I'm awesome. Yeah. I have to confess, yes. your wife, your beautiful wife and I have been having an email relationship today. Oh my god. <laughs> when he paused it, we're having a email. I know I, I my heart left into my You're gonna help us throw a bill, reach yes. a million Twitter, a million Twitter right? followers. How amazing would that be? We're, we're two thousand away from yeah. uh, he's here on the red carpet. carpet. Now is um Phil right is, is, is hosting the Juno Award something that is on, has been on your bucket list that you wanted to do? Yes, yes, for about 25 years, and the Juno Awards are only 10. And what, do they just throw a bunch of money at you and you're like, I'll do it? No, no, there's no money involved here at all. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, I, would, I don't know. Right. <laughs> it's an awkward so you don't laugh. Know, so it's an awkward laugh. Um, I don't know that. Uh, no, it's wonderful to be with. Great Canadian music, great show. I'm so proud of you. How much do you love Canadian music? I love I, I listen to it all the time. Are you surprised that they sent the, the guy with the Junos to the Junos? Are you surprised they sent the Junos with the Junos? Oh, see, nobody gets that joke because I have a Junos and I sent the Junos. Uh, oh, 
does the Jew know? Or the Jew know? No, yeah. oh, no. no, does the Jew know? Does the Jew know? <laughs> 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 Very funny, right? Thank you so much. You're so well, go ahead. Is it too cold for you to show me your abs again? Oh man, definitely. Okay. No, no, it's not I that. I tried. It's not that. My stylist is like, Carl, you gotta stop doing that. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta dress you up in threads. I'm telling you, 2012 is all about clothes for me. Now you finish. The grass never looks so good. Now you go. No, I'm not ruining this moment. Put my name in it. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, Never. So how are you, man? Great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I am well. Let me ask you this. Okay, so are you guys sharing a room or something? How does it work when you're a group of guys on the road here at the gym? Are you sharing a room? You One get, bed, four dudes. Yeah, you get really used to cuddling. So like, oh, right now, we like, we're just very... Is there room for me? <laughs> always room, you know what I mean? You know that two's a party, three's a crowd? Yeah. It doesn't exist with us. The more the merrier. That's, that's Is it hard, though, to, to sort of share a room? Like, does one snore? What's well, well, we, oh. we, 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 we have a Oh, you asked the right question. These, these two right here uh, do crazy stuff Mike, in their sleep. I sleep a lot. Wait, who's the one that touches people? Okay, that's, that's, that's him. He I kiss me. people, I touch <laughs> he people. He kissed my tricep. I'm on the second floor. I'll take him off your hand. <laughs> <laughs> he kissed my tricep. And I'm like, what? what? Yeah. You can't get mad because it's like a yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to kiss on the tricep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that he's sleeping so. <laughs> and then Mike is the first to fall asleep always right. and the yeah. loudest snore. Yes. Always. Come on, man. I don't speak, but I snore. Yeah. <laughs> he speaks more in his sleep than he does in the interviews. Hey! Dead Mouse, how are you, man? Is it hot in there? Uh, do you put any sort of air fresheners in there? What goes on inside the helmet? Uh, we got, I got a fan intake system for like when I'm playing in a club or a yeah. really warm venue. But out here it's off, so it's like just a good windbreaker. So, you know, the wind chill in my head right now is just like at a nominal chill. Now, I do have to ask you this. Like, obviously we found your breaking point. Like, when you did that whole Madonna stuff, like, was that your breaking point? I've never seen you like that before. Oh, really well, hard. you know, I just, I got a little fed up. I mean, all, all that week I was just kind of a little, like, disgruntled about how, you know, some songs are even considered songs, uh, you know. So it, it, I was already in a bad mood as yeah. it was, and yeah. for her to come out and make a blatant ass drug reference, I'm like, yeah. is it come to this? You know, like, it's just, we've, we've built this thing up so much, you know, and really disproved all of that stupid association because as you remember like you know dance music really was oppressed by that kind of association and and now you know you you just decide to come be relevant in the scene again which is fine totally fine you everyone's allowed to do that and i'll probably do it when i'm 82 but like to come in that way it's like dude way to tear down everything we stand for here we go on the red carpet for the juno awards it's dan and Maury in ottawa uh, i am in the presence of royalty cardinal how are you i am good i am freezing my ass off but i'm good now you are like you know the god of, the, of all things canadian music what is it like to walk the carpet see your peers and be here in ottawa you know what it's crazy and i always love doing this at least once a year you know what i'm saying because only then can you be you know surrounded by william shatner and a giant mouse head at the same time. <laughs> what do you think he's going to do on stage when William Shatner's there? Like, this guy's a funny guy. He sees dead mouse, he sees, you know, simple plans. He's going to roast some people. You know what? Really, I'm, I'm hoping that he brings back Spock and the whole crew. <laughs> so maybe if he does a reunion show on stage, I think that'll be the best. Anything else besides that? Come on, Will. You got you to gotta do better than that. I say start your reunion. Now, listen, I am Mr. Cardinal for Sean. Right about now, you're listening to my man, Dan Moore. And right now, we are broadcasting live from the Juno's on Kiss Night. I love you, like seriously, I would I would never go back. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're awesome. Very good. Yeah. Are you having fun in Ottawa so far? Oh, amazing so far. Love what do guys like you do when you come to a town like Ottawa? Do you party up or do you do research on other bands that are up to the uh, gym? We party with the other bands that are up. It's all the party and one. research is the same <laughs> it's thing. It's a party yeah. research yeah. kind of thing. Now, I heard that you guys were, I don't know if it was YouTube, but some other people in your band were doing Nicky Nicky Nine Doors in the hotel you were staying at. Uh, I wasn't. No, yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty fun. It was, it was, you know. Tell me what happened. Because I know all the stories. Well, we, you never know who's going to be on the other side of that door, but at the same time, when you roll up there and you know you see somebody stick their head out when you're up the hallway, the more, like, it, it, it's just it's fun. It's fun. The only thing is that is like nobody really knew that it was us. So if anybody is watching this right now, yeah, got you. Now, are you worried about William Shatner's host, like that he might roast you guys? 
I would love to no. get roasted by William Shatner. Yeah, that'd be an honor. We're yeah. all, I, I hate to say it, but I'm going to let the secret out. We are, a bunch of us are like big Trekkies, and uh, the fact that he's here now is kind of awesome. Yeah. We're all getting pictures. Sarah McLaughlin, how are you? I never thought we would ever meet. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. I like your hat. That's very interesting. It's keeping the top of my head warm, that's for sure. And who are you looking forward to seeing other than that? Like, what Canadian music are you loving right now? Uh, I'm really loving City and Lights. I love Feist's new record. Um... Let's see. Oh, the Danger Mouse. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a really young and vital and fun awards tonight. Dragon, and how are you? Uh, crazy. This is your first Juno. It is. Um, it's crazy. What I did is that it doesn't feel real. Now you said uh, earlier that you were prepared for Dead Mouse to win this. So you didn't really prepare. For, is that true? You were like, oh, he's gonna win. Well, okay. Let me just. I mean, the, the category was filled with incredible artists, but he, uh, Dead Mouse, is the biggest dance artist in the world of England, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Now it's you. The numbers say what, uh, what was our prediction. Anyways, um, no, we we won this, this category. It's our first Juno, and it just means. Uh, it means so much to us to have to be recognized in this forum. Uh, You're gonna make me cry. Uh, no, it's, it's <laughs> crazy though. Like I, 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 oh my god, I was almost gonna cry when I got on stage, and I was so I was like stutter right now. Has it hit you yet though? Like what? what's no, gonna happen no. later? You're gonna go back to your hotel and like it's gonna you're gonna start crying? Um, no, I'm gonna go back to my hotel and then my mom and dad are gonna cry and then I'll cry. What do you think they're gonna say to you? Um, they're gonna say, I wish I liked your music more than just <laughs> Hadley, how are you guys? Great, thank you, Maury. Really? Nice to see you as w again, my friend. Now, we've actually had you on our tour bus before. I cannot believe that you even remotely remember that. We were parked outside of Much Music one night, and I think we invite you on for some uh, some adult beverages just to hang out and uh, show you the sights. Wait, am I... Okay, when you said sight, am I allowed to say what was it all over the top of the bus? Like, sure, inside? Can sure. I bring that up? Go nuts! Photos of boobs. Absolutely. Which, we're, by the way, I'm, a, I'm afraid of boobs. We're like, legit scared of boobs. scared of boobs. Yeah. That's odd. That's really odd. Well, you're a small guy. You don't want to get hit too hard with a big one, right? You know, but we're red-blooded males, you know? We enjoy the finer things in life, like females. There you go. Yes. So let's talk Junos, okay? That's in Ottawa. This is awesome. You guys have been to many a Juno. You won something last night. Where do you keep the Juno at home? Where am I going to put the Juno at home? I'm probably going to put it, like, somewhere where I can put a hat on it, because it's a really good size this year to kind of rest something. I don't know. Tom, what do you... Probably your... I don't, maybe, maybe above my, uh, above my toilet. Like, I, I think it'd be a, a great phallic symbol above my, my toilet to kind of compete with and live up to. <laughs> <laughs> what does being involved with the Junos and, and Canadian music and being recognized by your country mean to you guys? I mean, you've been, you're almost veterans in Canadian music. Uh, we feel super lucky to uh, be able to sustain a career playing shows and just entertaining people. The fact that we can travel across this country and play music and then uh, come and hang out with people that we consider friends and peers like Hey Rosette or Dan Mangan, uh, Nickelback and Mother Mother and all these other great acts that are from our country. Like, we're fans of music still ourselves. So to be able to come and just hang out and put on a show for everybody at home, this is just another extension of what we do. And this is it's amazing. Best job ever. Now, who do you get starstruck at something like the Junos? Who, who do you see and you're like, oh my God. God. Well, I, I said, oh my God, initially when I heard we were being interviewed by Kiss. <laughs> and I thought it would be like Gene Simmons or Ace Freely, but uh, but no, it's Maury from 92. I have a long tongue. <laughs> I have a really good tongue. <laughs> you have a really good tongue and you're afraid of boobs. <laughs> This is, yeah. this is turning interesting, Maury. <laughs> I'm enjoying every second of it. <laughs> now, what's next for you guys? Another tour, another album? What's coming up? No, uh, probably a bit of both, actually. We This band has learned to never stop, and that momentum is our key. So right after this, we are going to be doing some more dates at the end of May and June, and uh, we're going to be putting out storms in the United States and uh, making our way down there as well to see our U.S. fans. So. Which is absolutely amazing. It's about time that you guys get really noticed heavily into the U.S. Like It's like about freaking time. We've all, oh, sorry, Tom. Maybe the June will be the key to unlock lock that door. Maybe maybe this is the start of something great by winning a Juno. That's an interesting size keyhole, actually. Yeah. We actually had to bring down the Juno. It's kind of like very Indiana Jones, you know, kind of put it in and the sun's shining just right. You present it at customs. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. You can come oh, yeah. down and take over down here now. Come on, come on through, boys. It's okay. No, I, I, the bad joke on Kiss 95 in the morning show is that Roz was like, there's no way anyone's going to laugh at that. So guys have had that. Are you surprised that they sent the guy with the Junos to the Junos? <laughs> Am I, am I allowed to laugh on that? <laughs> yeah, but it was like an awkward laugh, and he didn't do anything. <laughs> hey, man, I'm very PC, I think. I didn't also, I also am very slow and didn't get it at first. So I'm like, Junos? Where? 
where? You're hi- where are you hiding these? Come on, is it in there? Hello, McFly. Hello. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Congratulations, and I'm so glad I got to see you again. We're Thanks, such man. huge supporters of you at Kiss, and we love everything you do. I was, you sound phenomenal. I was bummed we blew by on the red carpet, so I'm glad we got a chance to catch up. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We'll see you again on the bus, guys. Cheers.